Hey, you, question for you. Why do you think that bad habits are so easy to pick up, whereas good habits, the ones that will be beneficial for us long term, are so hard to ingrain into our system? I'm going to tell you the immediate outcome of a bad habit, like eating a Snickers bar, is rather favorable. You get immediate energy, your taste buds get a pleasant type of stimulation, and you feel, of course, satisfied. Snickers. Satisfaction guaranteed. Of course, over the long run, repeating this action, you get fat and overweight, you develop diabetes, and you get all the negative ramifications of consuming excess sugar. With good habits, it's actually the reverse. The benefits that you're gonna derive from developing good habits will appear far into the future. Let's take working out, whether it be running, lifting weights, yoga, swimming. Especially when you first begin, it does not give you immediate pleasure or gratification. It's hard, it's uncomfortable, you sweat, your body aches, and you don't look any different when you look at yourself in the mirror. The next day, the next week, maybe even two weeks, you won't even notice much of a change. Every fiber of your being says, why do I want to go through this again and again? You have to be able to look down the road towards the ultimate benefit that you are going to derive from these actions, which is not that easy given the fact that historically we've lived short lives with food in very short supply. So let's get into a time machine and go back to the year 1400. Stand on the side of the road and offer the first man walking by a Snickers bar. You better believe that thing would be devoured. And the next one you offered him. And the next one. And the next one. And the next ensuing 10. Because the odds of him ever being presented with that amount of calories at the ready to be taken in that are going to give him that tasty satisfaction that Snickers always gives you, in his mind, would be next to zero. And a brief word from our sponsor. Snickers always satisfies. Not to mention the odds of him ever living long enough to suffer from diabetes from overconsumption of chocolate and sugar are close to zero as well. Interesting fact, few autopsy reports from the Middle Ages listed diabetes as cause of death. In the past, the world was tailor-made, game theoretically, to take the immediate payoff in almost all circumstances. However, due to the technological revolution and the advance of civilization, the payoff for delayed gratification becomes greater and greater in today's world. You can spend the money you earn today on something that will be for immediately pleasurable, a fancy meal, a high-priced Prada bag, a fancy upgraded car, or you can boringly save towards retirement, where your investments are reaping the rewards of increased productivity, thus allowing you to spend your time doing things you find more pleasurable. But again, from an evolutionary perspective, our brains are wired to prioritize an immediate positive outcome for ourselves. According to James Clear, the cost of your good habits are in the present. The cost of your bad habits are in the future. This requires a shift in thinking from our paleoithic wired brains to ones that are able to extrapolate the cost of present day actions into future events. Our decision-making is almost always guided by the path of least resistance. I know for certain that I have to consciously choose to embark down the road with greater numbers of obstacles, with greater amounts of friction, because this is the only way that I can grow as a person and that will lead to greater results for me and my family down the road. However, it is a conscious choice and it's not necessarily easy. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl illustrated how the people that survived the Nazi death camps always knew their why, and that North Star guided them and helped them survive in the most unlikely, stressful, horrific circumstances. To quote Friedrich Nietzsche, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how 
Know why that you want to develop these specific habits that are going to help you reach the ultimate goal, whether that be being more organized when starting a business, being prepared for every single meeting that you go to, not letting things fall by the wayside, which is way too easy, especially for somebody like me who just wants to go, 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 whether that be workout habits in order to reach the goal of an ideal body or optimal health. You have to know your why in order to overcome that path of least resistance, which is always shining bright versus the dark road. That why will illuminate that road for you. I sincerely hope that you've gotten something out of this in terms of understanding where our habits come from, why it's so easy to slip into the bad ones, and just to be able to be conscious of this might help us change our lives for the better. Even if you share it with a friend, by all means, maybe they'll get something out of it too, and feel free to subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Have a fantastic day.